recently there was word today that uh, consumers that were on 12.3.6 that were waiting for the 12.4.1 is being delayed. So they're going to push everybody to the latest branch of the software to give them the, sp uh, the full you know, spring update. So let's go take a look. And we are ready to go. So let's install now. And you can tap this three times if you're not doing it through the app. And now we wait. So what I'll do is uh, wait for this download and then we'll go through the update and uh, take a look at the new UI and all the features that are that have come with it. So stay tuned. Be right back. All right. So there's the update. It's still working. I think what I'll do is uh, while I'm waiting 20 minutes, I'll just uh, cut the grass, get some yard work done. I'll be right back. All right. So the car updated and now I'm on the latest version. And that's basically rolled out to just about everybody today. Um, and right now I was on FSD 12.3.6. I'm still on FSD 12.3.6. Uh, but this is the overall spring update, which is under uh, 24.14. So uh, this actually gets everybody back up to the same software uh, branch so we can get ready for the FSD uh, that's going to be 12. 4.1 or which will come out as maybe dot two or dot three. So we'll we have to wait and see and uh, uh, how that rolls over the next couple of weeks as they're trying to obviously fix some of the things that uh, the original crew that has been testing it now for the last week or two. So let's take a look at the update. Um, this is a pretty big one um, as we're, if we can see the FSD version is still the same. That's not going to change. It's a supervised version 12.3.6. Um, and then and visually, this is kind of cool. So before I would have the car here. Um, now I actually can see the whole car. This is my 2023 Model Y performance. So, yeah. And then I'm sure a lot of people, you've probably seen just about it every video out there but i have complete control if i wanted to basically roll down my window the window on the car will roll down or if i wanted to open a car door so it's very interactive um, you'll have your cards down here which tells me i mean basically about uh, anything about the car as far as charging uh, and then tire pressure which is really nice. My navigation is here. One thing I love about this is not only do you have the full effect of your car, the map now doesn't have to take up half of the screen. So your map detail is right here, which is really nice. It's in the top right hand portion of the, of the car. And then you got basically um, all of your information at the top, which uh, this will tell you that you have Wi Fi. And I have my basically all the information as far as temperature and time on the screen and I can still pull out the main as far as the main mapping right here too as well so that's pretty neat now one thing I wanted to check out out of this update is the, um, the browser which is now full screen which is really nice and what I wanted to see is if Is it gonna go oh here full screen browser which wasn't possible before now I have this connected to my my cable uh, so which is really nice and now I can watch TV wherever I'm at basically so if I wanted to watch right now I mean weather channels on but if I wanted to change the channels I have complete control if I wanted to watch uh, you know whatever that I needed to which is pretty neat So that's awesome. All right, so that's one of the main, obviously main uh, updates with this version here, which I really like. Mapping's been updated as far as visualizations, which is, I think, phenomenal as far as uh, you know taking a trip. I have looked over 
basically some of the updates. Let's take a look. I'll give you some more information. Oh, man. Software. And you can go up to release notes right here. So we went to the visual visualizations, which are pretty nice. Uh, this, uh, you got Audible now, which is for anybody that wants to listen to audiobooks. We have that capability. Um, Spotify users, now I have Spotify. So you can now sync your Spotify queue across all vehicles and your devices. Uh, this has been updated too as far as your sentry mode recordings. When sentry mode triggers your vehicle alarm, and records an event, you can immediately preview a brief clip of your recording on your phone. So that is going to be phenomenal too, especially if you got an, you know, at least a notification um, and you wanted to see what was going on. You can now see that, um, you know, that something, if, if something's triggered, then you can see that really in live action, which is really, really nice to hear. Uh, this is really cool speed camera chime so to hear the chime when you're approaching a speed camera turn on the navigation speed camera chime in your vehicle settings so basically if i wanted to go to settings i would imagine it's under service maybe Oh, right there. So that's all set up. Now this is nice too. So before you'd have to look at the map as far as where your trip progress is. Now it's going to be in a little section part of the screen so you know exactly how far you're really away from your destination. And then there's the better route available. So navigation will now show you uh, at the top of your turn list, if a faster route becomes available, it will route unless you decide before the option expires. So that's going to definitely save you on time too as well. And wiper controls. Now we've always had some issues with the automatic wipers and then you have to go into it typically and you touch this. Now you can actually use the scroll button, which is really nice. So if I, I can, I can change the wipers right there, which is phenomenal and then there's some de definitely some regular uh, speed or uh, some security improvements and some other updates that are uh, some game updates too as well so that's pretty neat all right so basically that's about it on this one we're gonna I, I don't think there's gonna be any major updates as far as uh, FSD until four or 12.4.1 or two or three come out. So at this point here, it's really uh, the UI has been changed with a lot of different features, which is going to help out a lot of people and it keeps your car fresh. So that's one thing I love about uh, Tesla's is that, you know, you have the car and it's always improving. So that's something that really not any other standard car companies have the ability to do. So once you buy a car, your car is pretty much set with Tesla. It is always updating and getting better with time and you it's phenomenal value all right well thanks again for watching um and have a great night if you can if, uh, if you haven't liked the channel please do so uh, subscribe to the channel like and share and that'll be great for the algorithm as everybody talks about all right have a great night thanks for watching